Lord. There's always something going on. This is what it requires, all in. Super accelerated living. It's not a joke. It's not for the faint of heart. It's constant. It's fucking constant. It drives you insane if you're not ready for it. But you'll only gain as much of this as you are ready for. You become completely different from what you used to be. You become, in a sense, very non-human. Very accelerated, as humans are supposed to be. But in comparison to what we've defined humanity to be, you become completely different. So be prepared. And start where you're at. Start exploring, start expressing that. Start living in an accelerated life until it becomes a super accelerated life. And always know that you contain all the love you need, my friend. You contain all the worthiness, all the infinite love and union and bliss is right here. And when you radiate it, I guarantee you, all these true relationships, the really true ones that really bring you joy and that really have the ability to reciprocate something and teach you something and show you something and receive what you have to offer in a very free way, not attached way, they will show up effortlessly one by one by one by one. I'm not just talking about partnerships or sexual relationships. I'm talking about any type of relationship, any type of opportunity that comes your way. It will come effortlessly. And before you know it, you realize that what creates reality is not reality, but you. So where you always want to be focused is you, not reality. You enjoy reality as if it's by the wayside, as if it's just a portion of you that comes into your being. And you enjoy it while it's there, but you use it to increase your frequency even more. You use it to confirm to yourself that you are Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are God. You are a creator. It's an inside joke. Um, recognize if it feels good or not. This is what maturity, this is what maturity, this is what wisdom is. It's becoming, how can you accelerate wisdom, which is what you need to really live a super accelerated life. You need to be somewhat wise, meaning you need to be able to discern in a very clear, responsible, dis distinctive way, what vibration is about to happen right now. You, you, you become very keen on what's happening vibrationally. A master is very keen on every single detail that's occurring. So vibrationally, you become very clear, very clear, very clear. Every little ripple in the field becomes noticeable and you know where it comes from and what it's going to do. Not all the time immediately, but that's how you learn and that's what it becomes. So what you want to do is as soon as the radial awareness starts hurting, notice that it's hurting. Something does not feel good. You included into this free love. Now you included a thought that made it directional. Directional love can be beautiful as long as you're rooted in the non-directional love. It can be gorgeous to like completely have that one-pointed experience for a moment. But when it becomes an idea, when it becomes an attachment, that's when shit hits the fan. That's when you start hurting vibrationally. As soon as you start hurting vibrationally, remember that this is what it requires. This is the high stakes game. You have to be all in. You have to prioritize how you feel. As soon as you start feeling bad, stop everything you're doing. Check in with your vibratory state. What thought did you just enter into the field of your consciousness that made you feel bad? Higher self pushed a button. It's time for you to pay attention. As soon as it pushes the red button, pay attention. As soon as it pushes the green button, pay attention. Include that, master that, increase that until it starts to feel like a red button. Then move on to the next seed. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Just keep on moving while you're being radially loving to yourself and all that comes into your field. Become really keenly aware of whenever you're hurting yourself. As soon as you hurt, clear up your vibration because you know if you don't clean up your vibration, you're going to hurt that much more down the road. Use your past experience to smarten up, to wisen up. Did it feel good? Has that feeling of, oh, ever led to something great? Has it ever made you feel great about a relationship? Has it ever not made you look needy and disastrously unattractive to the woman? Not for me. Whenever I enter that vibration, it just it starts to look terrible real fast because I'm really intense. So I'm not appealing to that other person at all if I would indulge in that state. So know where it's leading. Know that it's not leading you to anywhere you want to be even remotely. So you have this no-nonsense policy field towards yourself, this absolute prioritizing of your frequency, this absolute clarity. This is who I am. This is what I want to feel. I want to feel good. So I'm going to think everything that connects me to the vibrational state that my higher self agrees to and can come through me. That's my sole priority. I don't care about what the gain seems to be. I don't care about what I can gain from my experience. I don't care about how beautiful she is or how amazingly promising this experience is. I don't care. 
And what I care about is that I feel good because when I feel good, I am becoming my highest wisdom. And highest wisdom always leads to highest pleasure because those are synonymous. And what I want is the highest pleasure, the highest rightfulness, what is actually right, what's actually true, what's actually in alignment with the universe. That's what I want because that's what accelerates my life. That's what will make me happy on all fronts of my being, all levels. I want to be so vibrationally precise and yet open and free, but precise, conscious, that at some point, let's say half a year from now, my life looks in such a way that it doesn't matter where I look, all I see is things that I'm grateful for. Everywhere all over the place like crazy that's what i want if i want that i need to wisen up not be so sloppy not be so needy and say goodbye darling i'm gonna let go of you in my mind i don't care how much love you can give me or receive from me i don't care what i think i'm projecting onto you is true love what i care about is that i'm truly connected to who I am. I'm in alignment. I've cleared up my vibrational state. And then if you still walk side by side with me, that's perfect. If not, that's perfect too. I know that I'm so abundant, infinitely abundant, that my true highest frequency will naturally attract everything that needs to be a part of that vibrational confirmation in physical reality.